Hello guys. Movimento is here. Today I'm going to recap, 2022 K-Drama, Soundtrack 1, Episode 3. Episode 3 of Soundtrack Number 1 begins with Eunsu asking Sunwoo about his crush, Jennifer. Although we'd all like to see Eunsu telling Sunwoo that she saw the pictures from the last episode, Soundtrack 1 starts with her changing the topic. Now taken aback after learning the truth, she asks Sunwoo when he started liking Jennifer and whether he ever plans to tell her, realizing full well that the Jennifer they always talk about is her. Sunwoo refuses to reply to her comments and tells her to let him handle it by himself. Of course, we know that Sunwoo's crush is actually her. Again working on the song, Eunsu listens to the song and, unfortunately, cannot come up with good lyrics. She tries to find her old lyric book where she sees a picture of them together taking her back to high school, the day she gave him her mother's camera to take pictures with and he immediately starts to take her pictures. Back in high school, she wrote a few lines dedicated to their friendship, cheering him on to pursue his dream even though most of the other people in his life didn't support it at the time. Back in the present, Sunwoo receives some great news. He's been accepted to collaborate with a really talented artist. The flip side though, means he needs to leave Korea within the next week. You can tell Sunwoo is conflicted, especially as he knows how this would affect Eunsoo. On the other hand, Wu Ayel proposes that Eunsoo meets with the artist. That night, Eunsoo talks to Mari when she gets to know that they knew how much Sunwoo likes her. They get excited when they think that he has finally told her, but she says that he didn't. Sunwoo also tells her he plans to confess his feelings, but doesn't. Eunsu spends most of the episode getting the confirmation she needs from other people, like their married friends, who've known for years that Sunwoo liked her, and then waiting for Sunwoo to actually confess. These two were actually friends beforehand, and turned to lovers in the past. They push for her to get together with him, but she says that she's afraid that she'll hurt someone who means a lot to her and is a kind soul. She looks sad, almost like she likes him too, but is too afraid to say it. As Eunsu gets home, Sunwoo gives her flowers and asks whether they can make up. We saw last week, these two are quick to apologize with flowers whenever they have a disagreement, and this time it's his turn to present her with a bouquet and ask if they're still good, they are. He answers her questions, further confirming her suspicions by saying he's not sure exactly when he fell in love. However, things aren't the same anymore, now that Eunsu knows everything. Either way, he does tell her that he started liking Jennifer eight years ago. Eunsu is shocked that he has liked her for so long. He continues to answer all of her questions and the look on her face makes it apparent that she, too, would very much like the idea of them together. The next morning, flustered, she tries to run away but Sunwoo catches her anyway. Unfortunately, his plan to tell her that night is dashed when she hurriedly tells him that she will be late thanks to a work meeting. At said work meeting, a flustered Eunsu meets Jae Joon and we get to know that Wu Il, too, might be into her after the barrage of compliments he has showered on her behalf to Jae Joon's team. Meanwhile, Sun Wu wonders what to do about the collaboration with Benzema Lauren as well as where Eunsu is. He tries calling her after fixing her bike, but she's busy having wine with her boss. At the wine tasting, Wu Il openly flirts with her and tells her that they should take, getting to know each other, slow. Turns out, his line about giving her tangerine juice without asking because he enjoys sharing the things he likes with the people he likes, wasn't just a pleasantry. He's perfectly polite as he explains that he found her so beautiful when she begged for two more weeks to revise her lyrics, and he assures her there's no need for her to respond right away, but still, this feels a tad creepy. Maybe it's just the casting, Kim Joo-hyun is 14 years older than Han So-hee. Then Sun-woo shows up, and it gets even worse. To be fair, he's already miffed because he'd planned to finally confess that night, only for her to actively avoid him all day and stay out until nearly midnight. But that doesn't give him a complete pass, because his response to seeing them in the wine bar is to barge in, sit himself down at their table, and start sampling their food, all while putting on the same odd, childish attitude he did before. Naturally, when Eunsu excuses herself to make a phone call, the guys get all territorial. The composer tells Sunwoo point blank that he confessed to Eunsu and is giving her space to respond as she wishes. 
and for some reason, Sun Wu seems to come to the conclusion that Eunsu's mind is already made up in the composer's favor instead of his. That night after coming home, Eunsu stays up for Sun Wu, but he doesn't come back. That morning, she goes to his studio but learns that he has left. She further learns from Dong Haiyan about his collaboration. When she comes back home, she finds him with the bike and he tells her that he didn't paint the back handle because that's where he used to grab the bike while teaching her. It holds a lot of memories. Just as he's again about to tell her his feelings, she tells him that she will always have her friendship by his side and that's what she feels. Instead of confessing, Sun Wu tells Eun Su the exciting news he'd received earlier in the episode, a high-profile photographer contacted him wanting to collaborate, and they're leaving immediately to travel the world with an exhibition. On the day of, the two stand at the bus stop and reminisce the old times before Eun Su bids goodbye to her best friend. In a flashback, we see the first time he went to the US and how affected Eun Su was. It seems like she liked him back then as well. As she breaks down at the bus stand, she realizes that she finally knows what unrequited love means, so now he's left the country without telling her how he feels. And she knows anyway, and maybe even acknowledges to herself that she feels the same way, but is afraid to tell him. She put on a bright, smiling face to see him off, but then burst into tears as soon as he was gone. And she admits to their friends that what she's really scared of isn't so much losing him if they were to break up, but rather hurting him. But she also finally understands what he meant when he described the feeling of loving someone and not being able to tell them, so I have a feeling her lyrics are ultimately going to do the confessing for her, just as his photos did for him. In the epilogue, Sun Wu pours his heart out regarding his feelings for Eun Su to Mari and her husband. He says that she was drinking wine even though it gives her a headache. Thus, if that's what she wants, then he will support her. It turns out that two years ago, he did watch Eunsu break down after he left. What do you think of soundtrack number one, episode three? Comment below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See you again.